Hello and welcome back to another Flora and the Novice X. <laughs> you went too high. Hello. Again. And... Oh. <laughs> right, this is it. Hello and welcome back to yet another Flora and the Novice Explorers video. The sun is shining and today we will be showing you our Arb awning room, the deluxe model. Very fancy. As you saw a couple of videos ago, we've installed our Arb 2500 touring awning and this, as Meg said, is the attachment to make it into a room. Yes. And we've only used it once, but we've been very happy. It's transformed the use of our van quite a lot. It gives us room to chill out, change our clothes, stand up, which is quite nice. We took it to Bus Fest and had a fab time and it made our life that weekend a hell of a lot easier. Yeah. The weather was very intermittent, there were four of us. There was plenty of room to cook in it and sit and chill in it and uh, have a few drinks at the night time. Yeah, it was nice to be protected from the elements, although it wasn't too extreme, it was nice to be able to all congregate together when it made a, made a big difference. So uh, this is just where we're going to show you how it works, what it does and what we think of it really. A quick little review and demonstration as the French wouldn't say. <laughs> definitely, definitely not. So that took 2.6, uh, no, two minutes. <laughs> so that took us two minutes and six seconds and it was just in the nick of time. So if anything, we're going to test the uh, waterproof properties of the awning. I think that was it. Yeah, that was quite heavy rain with a little bit of hail mixed in too, wasn't it? It was really yeah, quite only, something. Only just got the awning up in time. I think what we did, we did it in two minutes. Two minutes, six seconds. Which is all right. That's honesty as well, because it says 30 seconds. It could if you'd got like three hands each. The awning room is complete. It has its own ceiling, floor and four walls and it's all waterproof which means it does pack away quite small it's not too bad fortunately it's not too heavy am i covering your face um, no just very close to punching in the face yeah it is this is it's not particularly compact but then it is heavy duty and as lightweight as it can be so that'll either go underneath the bed or in the roof box depending on how often we think we're going to use it mm -hmm. so what we'll do now is get it out of the bag unravel it and hook it onto the awning. Yeah, we'll show you how to do that. So we managed to erect this in about five minutes. We need to sort of finesse uh, the pegging uh, of it down to make the shape a little bit more uh, square and symmetrical. But this is um, a rough five minute job and as you can see, it's perfect really. Yeah, really big. Plenty of room, standing, yep. doing bits and pieces. We can have the table set up. If say you were camping somewhere and were entertaining, I think you could probably get two double air beds in here probably. If you had to, wouldn't particularly be any more walking room around it. It'd just be two air beds and yeah. people. But it's actually quite nice. Um, as you can see, we've opened up, we folded and rolled up the sort of outside opaque layer to um, just expose the mesh, uh, the fine mesh. Yeah, this is a mosquito light. net, this is, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very fine. Um, I don't know what could possibly slip through that, apart from my lies and deceits. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> So yeah, that's just, we've opened it up just to let some more light in some air as well, because it's a bit barbecue-y, I think, as well. <laughs> we use this extensively over the weekend and cooked in here. It's not terrible, but there's definitely an air of um, sausage. <laughs> <laughs> sausage and bacon on the barbecue, yeah. 
but yeah, space-wise, it's great. Space, perfect. Um, usability, everything so far has been pretty good. So let's get on to the specifications. So the awning is primarily made of Oxford polyester, which means it's waterproof, durable, and as we said earlier, it's been treated for UV protection, so it should last and last, hopefully. We were mentioning before the way the floor joins the walls. So that's, it goes straight up, zips in, so you can open the doors just like we've done there, but then there's no room for any drafts or any critters to get in. Uh, it's great for privacy, great for when the weather's bad or the, the sun's out and it's too hot also. What's nice is that ARB have obviously designed this with the practical camper in mind. It comes with um, cable ports, um, storage pockets, everything's just kind of where you'd expect it to be. There's loads of little hooks for hanging things yeah, they, on. They truly have thought about the design and how it's all put together and just general usability for everyday use for, for everyday campers. You know, it's basic stuff but it, it's usable and it works and that's all you can ask for really. It comes with guy ropes, uh, pegs, and they come in a separate casings. So they're all kept together in the bag. And uh, it's just a really, really nice product. Yeah, nice thick steel um, pegs, which would be quite difficult to bend, I think. Yeah. Um, and the guide ropes, guy ropes? Guy ropes. Guy no. ropes. We always thought it was guide ropes, but we're being uh, educated, it's guy ropes. Yeah. So the guy ropes as well, pin it down a treat because the last thing you want is a nice big gust to flip this up, trash everything inside it and potentially trash a vehicle as well. So there it is. That is the Arb 2500 awning and attaching room. Deluxe version. Really impressed. It's gonna really work for our needs. It's quite low maintenance, um, packs away reasonably small and I think it's gonna be really useful for giving us more usable outdoor space. If you've liked what you've seen today, give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see how we attach the awning to the van, check out our previous video, link will be below. Also, you can check out our blog that is ongoing. That's our travels, that's our food, that's how we came to where we are today. Yeah. That is www.campcomforts.co.uk. Links as always in the description for everything you might need, but um, comment below. And keep up to date with all our social medias. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And an email address as well. Old school. Old That's school. all below. Yeah, so we'll it, see you next time. It's starting to rain again for about the fifth time today. So and I think it's it, also got very bright and sunny, so cheers. We're going to take refuge in the, uh, the awning room. Oh. Breaking the rules. <laughs>